And we're back! This is episode 2 of the Hearthstone card review for Bandits at the Dark Moon Fair. Um, I've got I've got my friend Taco with me again. Say hello. Hello. Oh, that was, that was quick and concise. Good stuff. Yep. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, we're going to be talking about the next... Oh, uh, yeah, I actually cut off the date from, my, from the video, but it's currently the 4th of November, and this is the first day of uh, serious card releases, and we are going to be pumping these videos out every single day almost, because they're going to come out with like 11 or 12 or 13 cards every day. So I hope you're ready to record a lot with me, Taco. Um, yep, you got it. Looking forward to it. It's it's fun to talk about cards for sure. Um, <laughs> this time, yeah, we've got again we've got twelve cards coming out, uh, starting with Maxima Blastenheimer, Maxima Blastenheimer, Maxima um, all the way, yeah, all the way to the the card that just got revealed like probably like two hours ago, um, Revenant Rascal. Wait, no, this is not even. Wait, no, this is not the card that got revealed. There's a card that's not here. It was. Oh, yeah, well, it's in the. See... Oh, it's not here. Oh, maybe I have to refresh. But it's the horrendous growth. Horrendous growth. Uh, yeah, it it's officially an... revealed, right? We can. We should still talk about. Yeah, it. it's officially. Oh no, it's right there. It's right there. Okay, they oh, updated there just okay. now. Just had to refresh. <laughs> so yeah, this is the this is the card that just got revealed, and um, this is it for today. So we're recording the video to talk about all these cards. Uh, yeah, uh, this time we've got a lot of hunter cards revealed. We got four out of eight hunter cards, so we can pretty much get a good idea of what hunter is going to look like. Last time it was druid that got four out of eight cards revealed. So um. Yeah, let's let's just jump right into Hunter and see what we can get out of Hunter. But yeah, first first card up is uh, Dark Moon Tonk. Um, this is a seven mana eight three mech for Hunter um, with Death Rattle to fire four missiles at random enemies that deal two damage each. So uh, I think this card is a three star card. Um, I'm waiting for more stuff to to happen, but this is a very strong Death Rattle. Um, it can be cheated out with the other card that got released alongside it, Maxima. Um, it's a mech, so it can be cheated out with Oblivatron, which is uh, a mech that was released a long, long time ago, back in Rise of Shadows. Uh, it can be cheated out with Nine Lives after it dies. Um, and I really think that it's just a little too slow for Hunter to play for 7 mana. It's, it's pretty strong, face damage is always welcome in Hunter, and this is 8 face damage, as well as having a super aggressive stat line of 8 attack, 5 health. And I, I'm really just... I think what this is missing is just a way to activate it while it's on the board. So like it's, we're missing some kind of Terra Scale Stalker or Play mm -hmm. Dead or a Cube. And, and this is just going to be a crazy deck if we can get some kind of Death Rattle Activator. What do you think? Uh, star Rating? Yeah, Star oh, yeah, Rating. Sorry, my bad. I gave yeah, my uh, yeah, I, I agree. Um... Maybe two stars. I, I just don't see the potential in this, uh, at least for this set rotation. Um, I think it needs a lot more uh, stuff. I mean, the difference between a two and three. I, I just don't see this being played at all in this iteration. And yeah, like a lot of weaknesses uh, have been covered. It's too expensive, and also it's it's kind of big, right? Like five. You have to. It has to yeah. die with five health. So what are we rushing into in this meta? I just don't. I just don't see it right now. Sometimes it's, like it's not even a rusher. It's it's slow. You gotta play this and wait a turn and then attack in. Yeah, yeah like I, I just meant like like how how are we killing this uh, reliably? Yeah. Um, your opponent does nothing. Well, if your opponent doesn't do nothing, you just smack him in the face for yeah, eight. Yeah, for I guess eight. That's good. I guess that's fine. Yeah. But it's just I don't know. The effect doesn't seem doesn't seem reliable. There's a lot of big cards that just don't see play. Just just seems like one of them. I think two stars. You think but two stars? As a set, yeah, I think two stars. Mm -hmm. But the potential probably will come, like, maybe maybe we just need more card sets, more Death Rattle stuff, more mech stuff. I, We're also in a class that doesn't have any draw. I, I just, I don't see yeah. it. Yeah, I'm looking at kind of, like, will this be running, like, a Highlander Hunter thing? And I'm, I'm not quite sure, because Highlander Hunter, I mean, to be honest, this, this is kind of, like, this is kind of a Highlander. slow crush. And that's really weird for Highlander yeah. Hunter, because they like to, they like to top off at King Crush. And then just you know, king crush people in the face, or, and I'm or not brand. sure. Yeah, yeah, bro. Oh, yeah, that, that's right, the yeah, thing. Like we're, when you're if you're playing Highlander Hunter, you're playing Pole Kelt, and you don't want this to mess with Pole. Kelt. Oh you yeah, no, you're right. You're right. Yeah, you're totally right. Yeah, this so, is yeah, this is probably I, not a Highlander Hunter. So we're looking at a Death Rattle deck um, to, for this to work, and uh, that's where we go into yeah. Maxima, which is mm -hmm. the other Hunter card. This is the Hunter Legendary um, Maxima Blastenheimer, a six mana four four, um, no tag at all. Uh, with battle cry, summon a minion from your deck. It attacks the enemy hero and then dies. So taco first. Yeah, um, I think this is a also a two star card. 
I just don't see how this can be played in uh, anything based off of what we what we saw. Um, I mean, this d- does combo with the thing with the card that we saw before. But then you know, it's first. Well, pull kelp wouldn't work at all. Like this is a this is a class. Like how do we tutor this out? You're also constrained to like what minions you can run because it says summon a minion from your deck, and uh, you know you want to run small minions. So mm-hmm. this can't even reliably tutor that out. Can you play no minions except for Maxima? Maybe a bunch of spells that stall the game, and then no, oh. you probably won't won't win. I I just don't see it. We we do have another card coming out later, which could which could fulfill the prophecy you just spoke of. Sure. Running no minions, but we'll talk about that later. Um, let's focus on Maxima right now. Um, yeah, I, I totally agree with you. It is it is a little weird. It's it's a little clunky in that it's a six mana four four. It's not very like impressively statted. But the battle cry does imply face damage, and face damage again is very very good in Hunter because y- your hero power synergizes heavily with more face damage. If you put enough damage into face, it doesn't matter. You just need to put m- just more and more damage in face. That critical mass of face damage is really all Hunter needs in order to to kill you and that's that's perfect because that's that's the point of the game kill the enemy hero um I, oh yeah oh i forgot to give the rating which is three stars i think this is a three star card just like tonk i think they'll see play together or not at all um tonk is really good um ursatron actually let me pull up I'm, i have actually have the page pulled up in hearthstone um this is the death rattles in hunter so i pulled up i went to hearthstone pulled up the the collection and put in death rattle and these are all the cards that like potentially synergize with death rattles uh so um you could see potentially i could potentially see ursatron being played in maxima perhaps uh definitely something like teacher's pet for sure if you're going to be a little more defensive you probably want teacher's pet in the deck you know curving a little higher um and savannah high main i was actually considering as well this is six face damage when you pull it off um blastenheimer it's right. it is though however it is a bad card, so I am running into the trap of considering a bad <laughs> card in order to make a, a, a card quote-unquote good. Well, yeah, but it's also like, okay, that deck's cool and all, but what do you do when you don't draw Blastenheimer? Then you just have like yeah, exactly. a pretty mediocre deck. So. Yeah, exactly. We've got like an Ursatron just hanging out, yeah. doing nothing. I mean, the Ur- Ursatron like, pulls the Tonk. It is a mech, so Ursatron will pull the Tonk. Um, so I guess we're looking for more mech hunter cards. Draw mech, yeah. Yeah. So, oh, also Oblivatron. We actually, yeah, Oblivatron. I just mentioned it's that it's that Hunter Legendary, which is oops, I don't own it. <laughs> it's the Hunter Legendary <laughs> that was um, released in Rise of Shadows, and we we can see like potentially there's some kind of Blastenheimer Oblivatron Tonk kind of deck going on here. I, I'm not too hopeful for it, but I, I do want to see more. I, I just want to see an activator, a Death Rattle activator. Right, like but I, I think that's negative synergy also because if Tonk pulls out Oblivatron. And like you just lost a lot. You mean of... Max? You mean Maxenheimer? You mean? Oh um, yeah, Maxenheimer. Maxima, right? If that pulls Maxima, out, or Blastenheimer. Yeah. If that pulls out, it's just it's just such an awkward. Card. Actually, it's I mean, not... I, I like the flavor. It's not too bad. Like imagine like you you um Blastenheimer out the Oblivatron, and you tutored out um a Tonk earlier with the Ursatron. Like does that um, is that how that works? Yeah. That's so what? like yeah, oh, yeah right yeah yeah you're right. It has yeah, to be so, your hand also. Yeah. So yeah, Ursatron. I got that confused with something else. Whoops. It's it's I'm still not sold on it. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 an idea that's like there, but like ooh, it's a little it's a little muddy right now. Nine lives is so good if you can get like the death rattle pool, like the death rattle minion in the pool. But like it's yep. just it's so hard to do that right now. It's so slow. So yeah, I yeah, th- three stars. I'm really hopeful. I'm really looking forward to this death rattle hunter. I I miss I miss the original death rattle hunter where I could king crush people in the face. Mm-hmm. Um yeah. Um uh, anyway. All right, next card. Um after that is don't feed the animals another hunter card uh don't feed the animals is a two mana hunter spell uh it gives all beasts in your hand plus one plus one and this is the corrupt card for hunter um when you corrupt this card it gives all beasts in your hand plus two plus two instead so this card is a certified one star card for sure um this is a hand buff hunter card, which is hand buff has never, like it has never been viable in Hearthstone's history, except for one time with Glowstone Technician in Mech Paladin, and that was that was because you can somehow convert this slow hand buff mechanic into a fast, into a faster like payoff by magnetizing mechs, and that was a Glowstone Technician was not conditional at all, but this one is conditional. It only gives beast plus one plus one, which is so bad for Hunter specifically because one, 
Hunter has no card draw, so we, we're not making a big hand to buff. Two, Hunter doesn't have good beasts right now to be buffing. And three, Scavenger Genui just does this thing's job, but better. Because you get to tutor for a specific beast you want buffed, and that beast gets plus two, plus two, without having to be corrupted. Uh, without without um, Scavenger's Ingenuity having to be corrupted. This needs to be corrupted to give plus two, plus two. It gives more beasts the, the, the buff, but that's that's really not that relevant right now. So yeah, this is... Um, yeah, yeah, just not... I'm, I'm not seeing it. Yeah, I agree. One star. Um, I mean, Blizzard is really pushing this uh, beast buff thing. I think they had Shando Wild Claw, yeah, Shando. which is that legendary that gives every... It's like Keliset, which for, for beasts, it gives everything plus one, plus one. Yep. Or it copies a minion. Um, yeah, I agree. I, I just don't think this is viable for the reasons you mentioned. There's no card draw, very little card generation in Hunter. Um, has to be a beast. I mean, the beasts by themselves at the moment aren't aren't that great. Uh, yeah, easy one, sir. Yeah, I pulled up Shando real quick just to remind everyone that this card saw no play in Skullman's Academy, and it's already it's already an <laughs> effect that we we see like this hand this buffing thing idea in Paladin, uh, not Paladin. Oh, it's buffing idea in Hunter, and it just didn't mm -hmm. see play. So yeah, I don't think this sees play at all. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah. Next card is uh, petting zoo. Uh, I so I actually before before we recorded this video, I asked Taco if he had any cards he wanted to rate specifically, and I think I'm gonna make that a new uh, thing on these card reviews where we pick a card. But yeah, this is Taco's. This is Taco's card. He has picked this card this uh, for this episode to review. So he must have something important to say about this card. Um, but yeah, regardless, this is a three mana hunter spell, uh, Petting Zoo. Uh, it summons at a uh, three, three strider, and then it repeats that for each secret you control. So at base, this is a three mana three, three, and then it summons more and more three, threes as you, as for as many secrets as you've got. Yeah, I, I think this might be one of the cards that the community might be pretty high on. And uh, I'm I'm actually going to give this, like, I'm going to give this three stars. Oh. I was borderline on two, but I, I don't think it's going to be that good. And the reason is, like, first of all, a lot of people are looking at this card. And, and, and yeah, that's fine. They're, they're thinking Face Hunter, right? You put this as Face Hunter, it's pretty good. You have Face Stalker. You, you, you press the hero power, right? You get a bunch of secrets. They stick. You play Ooh. this. Wow, you over you dominate the board, and that that might be legit. But I think that if you look at the face hunter list as it is right now, it's pretty low on like things you can take out. Like everything in there is is okay. at, at least in this mana range is pretty important. And the most important card right now in face hunter, one of the most important cards, is Polkelt. You cannot play this in Polkelt because if you play this with Polkelt, you do, you don't get your kill commands, you don't get your uh, eagle horn bows, and you get this. And if you don't have a secret out, this is like the worst animal companion. You, you, you've this ever is got. a really bad animal companion, of course. Right. <laughs> this is so understated compared to all of them. But I, right. I'm, I, yeah. You said you said face hunter. Um, so I, oh, I think the important right, question is like, is this good enough? Where we just don't play pole kilt anymore? We give up that damage, that consistent damage, which has made really kind of defined what face hunter is uh, at, at a very high level. And maybe this is just something you play out of the budget, because like if you don't have oh pull kilts, you don't have dragon bane, you put petting zoos in instead. Oh of the my god, dragons. I can't believe you said budget. Oh my god, I'm dumb. Oh. I, I don't know. Like I, I think I think this is this is not this is not optimal. It's not a bad card, but okay. like is it better than what we have? And I don't think it is. Okay, okay, like I, I, I gotta disagree. I think you're just wrong. I, I, think, <laughs> I think you're just wrong. It's a five star card. There's no way. This is a hunter spellstone. This is the hunter spellstone yeah. all over again. I understand. I understand it is hunter spellstone. Are spell you kidding stone. me? Do you know how hard? But it's also oh, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Finish up. Finish it's up. also a lot harder to trigger because like this is easier to play around than hunter spellstone. Yeah, it is. You it's, can... Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, like, uh, let, 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 let me let me give you my let me give you my um okay. my spiel. Right, so this is this is the hunter spellstone, right? This is like exactly the same. The hunter, the lesser emerald spellstone, which I put up on screen uh, in post, it, it it did this exact same thing for five mana. About about like let's mm -hmm. it's roughly the exact same thing. Uh, the hunter spellstone, you had to play the secrets beforehand, and then it didn't matter how many were in play, and you just played it like as a five mana twelve twelve or a five mana nine nine. But this could be easily a three mana six six or a three mana nine nine. That's insane. Like Hunter Spellstone when it was when it was first released, it carried Hunter. It just hard carried Hunter. And this this card is just the second coming of of Spellstone. And this is going to carry Hunter. I think this is just so powerful. Like 3 mana 6 6 right now is played like in in Face Hunter. Um like I, I don't even want to talk about Face Hunter to be honest. Like I think I think there's a new Hunter coming with this card like as the focus. 
Um, and I think that's more of a mid-range secret hunter. But like three mana six six is played as a Wolpertinger. Like if you scavenge a Nui of Wolpertinger, you're playing two two three threes, which is exactly what Petting Zoo does. And if that's strong enough to be in face hunter, I think that we have we could see a lot of potential in this being in just kind of like a secret hunter or um or some kind of mid range hunter with Blast and Heimer at the top potentially. I don't know. I, I'm I'm just kind of spitting spitting stuff here. But like let, let's I think we should I think what we need to do is look at the secrets in Hunter, right? Right. But uh, I mean I kinda wanna talk about like yeah, maybe there is a hunter that isn't face hunter or isn't a uh, super aggressive Highlander face hunter as well that can play this, but if we look at all the things that came together in that set for uh, Skull Hunter to be good, there was a lot of stuff. There was that weapon that you had, you had card generation with the weapon. You had the uh, death the uh, death knight. There was like other things you could do before getting to like that spellstone turn. And the modern hunter, but the card sets or the card sets that we have and the cards that you know we'll we'll, we'll see. Like I, I just don't see it. I don't think a spell hunter. We'll come back, and yeah, we can go over the secrets as well. I think yeah. that's also pretty. Yeah, cool. yeah, let's go over the secrets exactly as um we should. Um, yeah, I, I look okay. Right away, I, I right as soon as we turn to the secret page, um, we see some really like I think hunter secrets are some of, like are the best secrets in the game to be honest. Um, for their cost, like pack tactics, two mana, three three. Like they're gonna be punished for this if they trigger this. Like I, I okay, so yeah, my bad. Let me scale that back a bit. We're looking at how punishing is it for them to forcefully trigger these secrets, right? And how hard are these secrets to trigger for for like you know to gauge the power of petting zoo? Like pack tactics is so punishing to trigger. Like snake trap is so punishing to trigger. Pressure plate is hard to trigger and very punishing when triggered. I think I think this works, man. I, I don't know. I think I really do see it. Yeah, and I, like secrets are also some of the worst things you can draw as a hunter. Yeah, and that's why you tutor them out with face stalker, right? And yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's like it's yeah, not even okay. Yeah, yeah, yes, that's true. No, I'll give that to you. I'll give that to you. There's some <laughs> of the worst things to draw, but like imagine on turn five, you just play a secret and you play a three mana six six. Isn't that insane? Right. Like that's it, that's it's, that's it's, a it's low. It's good, run. but is it better relative to what you can do as hunter? Yeah, I like think today, so. Like, I, I, in like in like a secret hunter, I'm like not sure about I don't that. know. We'll see. I guess we'll see. Like we we just sound like we're disagreeing left and right, but it's fine. Like <laughs> like I I'm gonna laugh at you when this is op. Like I'm just I'm just okay. gonna be like you well, are we'll wrong. See. You are wrong. <laughs> also, rat trap was big, right? Because rat, yeah, rat trap was. Oh, actually, rat trap doesn't matter in in this in this uh, in that meta anyways. Because I was just thinking like you also want secrets that are sticky that don't trigger. Like pressure plate would would be pretty good with this card. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. It, it just sits there and and they can't they don't play a spell or they don't have a minion they play a spell regardless. So I. I don't think it's like I don't think it's a terrible card. I just don't believe that um, this will create an archetype better than what we have. Yeah, I, 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 I just disagree with you then. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, well, yeah, I think I have one more point just to hammer it home. Um, wait, um, what am I thinking? Never mind, you're just wrong. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah. Let's move on. Let's move on because uh, we could we could talk hours and argue hours yeah. about this. I think this is just busted. But um. Yeah. We're we're also arguing about something that we don't know. There might be. Yeah. Something yeah. Oh. Yeah. Happen. Oh. That's that's the point I wanted to make. I wanted to. I, I'm really hopeful to see a, another secret. Um. I think Hunter would do sweet yeah. with another secret. I, I think like a sticky secret would go well. Yeah, a, yeah. a way to cheat out secrets and maybe like some kind of board clear. Uh, um. Like explosive shot plus. You know, just so that you can sustain to those turns. There, there's just a lot of things that don't exist yet for this card. I'm yeah, yeah. No, Anyways, let's go on. Yeah, so um, all right. This is this is a mess of words to pronounce. So, all right, we've got <laughs> Ilganoth is what I'm gonna try yeah, and call it. I I think you got it right. Ilganoth. All right, sweet. I'm gonna go with Ilganoth. This is Ilganoth, a four. The it's a four mana demon hunter legendary. For four mana, it has life steal. Oh, wait, it's a four mana two six demon hunter legendary, and it has life steal. Your life steal damages the enemy hero instead of healing you so this is demon demon hunter's way of cheating another mechanic that is core to hearthstone um first they had kane which said taunt is no longer taunt and now they have ilganoth which says lifesteal <laughs> is actually just damage it's x more damage right so uh yeah i know exactly what everyone's thinking this is like the second coming of like soul demon hunter um which is in a kind of like a semi-oppressive deck right now in skullman's academy but i will give this one four stars and I know some. I know some of you are angry that this is not five stars, but I think this four is a stars. four star. Okay. Card. Yeah. Um, oh. Okay. I, I looked at the Demon Hunter list. Like I, I've played some Soul Demon Hunter, and like really, the only thing that has life steal in that deck is specifically Eldraki Warblades. And, and Eldraki Warblades can be so powerful. Yeah, you can equip it. You can go like Twin Slice, Twin Slice, 
hero power, and it does 7 damage and it heals 7. And with Ilganoth, then that means you deal 14 damage, which is really, really insane. Like, that's super, super powerful, right? Dealing 14 damage to the opponent's face. But, like, that is so specific of a setup. Like, what are we cutting? It, like, like, what are we cutting in this deck? Like, in Soul Demon, mm -hmm. to put this in. We, like, we're cutting, like, maybe, like, a, a an Adept, maybe, or, like, a Consume Magic, or maybe, like... I, like one of one of the two mana cards like possibly to fit this in and i'm just not sure that this is like needed like by the time you can put like aldrachi online and like like get, get like a turn where you can do twin slice twin slice and then you play ilganoth like that that's like six mana like like okay you need to do twin slice twin slice hero power ilganoth right like that's like the super i guess you like, you don't really need to do all of that but like some some mix of that with Ilganoth in the in the mix is going to be like five six mana like seven mana maybe and like by those mana points for Soul Demon Hunter you're already like ending the game most of the time like you've already finished the game so this I think this is just too it it's it's really weird for me to say but I think this is too slow for Soul Demon Hunter the, just the last thing I wanted to get across was um that this is at least like if they don't hard remove it it's at least a four mana deal too. And this is a big body, so uh, I'm 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 that's how I'm so close to giving this five stars to be honest because I, I it's such a strong card, but it I think it's meta dependent. How how will the new Demon Hunter be built? We'll see. Oh, I I'm glad you gave it four. I'm surprised you gave it so high. I I thought you would have been a little bit lower based off what you said. I think this is also a four star card. I don't think this is a five star card. Um, and a, a lot of the, a lot of things that you stated, I I completely agree with. Um. But there's two things I want to add. Um, one is, like, this doesn't solve any of the problems that Soul Demon Hunter has. Soul Demon Hunter does not have a problem with dealing damage. It has a problem with Paladin, right? Getting through taunts, getting through, like, clearing big minions. And Ilganoth doesn't solve those problems. Yeah. Which is why Vicious Syndicate says said you run the two Consume Magics. Yeah, which is a completely different card. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right? Which, Consume Magic by itself, it's a great card, but it's, like... On a, in a vacuum, is it worth? Is it's not better than Glaive Down to Death, right? Just you just compare those two cards side by side, yeah. and if you knew nothing about the meta, you would not say, "Wow, I'm running Consume Magic over Glaive Down to Death." But the reason that is recommended is just because, like, that's the problem that Demon Hunter has, and this doesn't solve the problem. This actually just this just makes you more deadly. That's it, which is which is good. That's not a bad thing. Yeah. The um, second thing about this card. Oh, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. No, you finish up. My bad. Oh. The other thing about this card is a, a, a life steal. Like sometimes when you have the Aldrachi Warblades, you actually do want to heal. Right? To, to stay alive. Mm -hmm. You don't need extra damage. You need to stay alive so that you're out of range so your opponent doesn't lethal you. This could get in the way of that. And I like mean, I'm, I'm not trade. saying like the Aldrash Yeah, you could trade. I'm not saying the Aldrashi Warblades is like bursting like if it's bursting ten damage, obviously you want to lifesteal, but sometimes that Warblades is only doing four. And you need that four healing so so you're out of range. Um but the good thing the other thing about this card is that being a two six and being lifesteal, the way your opponent kills it is that they have to trade into it, which means they're taking damage trying to kill it, right? Yeah. Unless they have hard removal, of course, but most of the time they're probably going to trade into it. And they do trade into it, oh, it's extra damage. Point. So it's, it's a good card. It just, I, 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 would be I wouldn't be surprised if it isn't ran. Um, if, you know, the current trend is what it is. Paladin you know, keeps getting taunts in life, it keeps getting taunt in healing. And if, uh, yeah, if they keep making walls and keep healing, this doesn't solve that problem. I actually, I actually com uh, completely forgot to address that last point you made before um, you said the Paladin stuff, which is they need to trade into this. And every time they trade into it, they take two because this is lifesteal, right? Yep. So like it, it basically just instantly deals two straight to their face, which, oh man, that's, that's so good. Like this is such a good card, actually. Yeah. Um, it's just, oh, the, the other point I wanted to make um, was that it just, there's no lifesteal cards currently in Demon Hunter besides like Aldraki. Like we can actually I mean. look it up. We can actually, yeah, I beam. <laughs> Which you shouldn't be playing in the first. No one should be playing in the first place. Yeah, let, let's let's look up life steal real quick. Let's just to make sure. Uh, is, this, is it two words? Oh, I forgot about that guy. Yeah, so, battle lord. Yeah, I mean battle lord is not seeing play. Let, let's be honest. Uh, we got Aldraki. Yeah, but I forgot. <laughs> I beam, which is not being run, and soul yep. cleave, which is not being run, and then we should look at the neutrals. Just neutrals, biofiend. That's not being run. So yeah, like, like it's just like we don't have enough life steal support for Demon Hunter right now. It's it's it, like this is a strong card. Let's, oh. let's let's not let's not get that wrong. But like this is a strong card. But yeah. like we need some more support, and that's why it's a four star at least in my head. There there might be some interesting interaction where you also have that two mana card. I can't remember the name of it. The two mana two four that doubles all damage. 
Moark Artificer. Moark Artificer. There might be something interesting there, but that just seems like a really janky combo. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. That like I'm might waiting. Be too slow, I'm, I'm, this this could just be yeah. a soul demon hunter card, and we're, we'll see it. Yeah, I, I think it's probably the thirty first card you put into demon soul demon hunter. No, I, think, I wouldn't I be think surprised it's a if it is. Conclusion. I, I just like the reason I gave it four stars, even though it's like fits right into Soul Demon Hunter, is like I'm not sure if Soul Demon Hunter stays in the meta. Like we don't know what the rest mm -hmm. of the set looks like, so this is like skeptical. This is meta dependent. That's why I put it in this four star category. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, but yeah, the, yeah, we said we said our piece, right? Yep. Um, so yeah, next card. Let's get to see the other Demon Hunter cards. See if it might potentially synergize with this. Uh, spoilers. Nope, none of the ones revealed so far. Uh, the next <laughs> card is um, where time. is it? There it is. So yeah, next card is Expendable Performers. This is a 7-mana Demon Hunter card. Um, oh, it is... Uh, yeah, I should note, though, uh, Demon Hunter, um, since it's still a new class, it's getting more cards than the other classes still. So each class is getting 8 cards. Uh, Demon Hunter, I think, is getting, like, 15 or something like that. Some some kind of... Like, something in the teens. They're getting some like something in the teens in terms of number of cards. So yeah, um, that was all set up to, to, to describe... Uh, seven mana expendable performers. This is a demon hunter spell. Summon seven one one Illidari with rush. If they all die this turn, you summon seven more. All right, take it away, Taco. All this right. is yours. Yeah. So this is a uh, this is a very fun card. Uh, I'll say that. Um, fun. But it's probably not a very good card. It's <laughs> this is a one star card. I I just don't see this being played. Um. I mean, for five mana, we have this thing called Command Illidari. That's all no play. Yep. Um, and this is this is better for two mana. It's better. You get more stuff. But but why? <laughs> the question really is why? Why why yeah. would anyone want to play this in their deck? Also, if you look at the token synergy that Demon Hunter has, this is kind of weird synergy, right? So you play expend expendable performers. You trade one off. You play Ratscale Naga. Maybe you do something weird there. That's a I think Ratscale Naga is a three mana card. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. That's a 10 mana combo. Probably probably will never get played. Um, the other thing is Feast of Souls. If you want to draw 14 cards, you know, you can do it. I don't know why you would want to do that. Uh, it just doesn't seem to fit with anything that we have uh, in, in that token uh, Demon Hunter thing that Blizzard has tried to push. I would be very surprised if it's self play. Yeah, no, I, I totally agree with everything you said just a few seconds ago. I, I actually am giving it two stars, though. Um, just, I'm curious what, what Blizzard has planned, maybe, the, you can see this is an epic card, so I'm curious what Blizzard has planned for, like, Demon Hunter, this expansion, it looks like they're going into a token idea, we'll see the other card in a bit, but it's also a token Demon Hunter card, um, and I think they're going with a token idea, this expansion, this expansion for Demon Hunter, and I really, I don't think they would just leave tokens to do, like, there's no, like, they would, they wouldn't just leave no payoff for tokens, right? Um, <laughs> Yeah, so I've 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 actually piloted and built like a few like random meme decks, like off meta, completely off meta decks, and one of them was um a, a mid range Galakron, uh a mid range Galalock, which had like all of like the token generators and. And I just like, I wanted to swarm the board and just hit my opponent in the face. And the problem with that is that my opponent just sometimes ignored all of my tokens because they were all just a bunch of one ones that were all useless, and. What, it felt so bad to not be able to punish my opponent for leaving my tokens because Warlock currently has no way to punish you for for leaving, for, like for, no way to punish with tokens. And this is the exact same thing with Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter has no way to punish with tokens. That is good. Um, the 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 things I have listed here in my notes are um, Rascal Naga, which you mentioned. You mentioned that as a ten mana combo as well. That's not getting played at ten mana. Um, and the other thing that I have here in my notes is Nethrin Dam Nethrin Damus, oh, right. which is the um, nine mana um, Demon Hunter Legendary that they released with Demon Hunter, which summoned like I, I think I, could, I should pull it up. I I'm not gonna I'm not gonna just I'm not gonna mess it up by accident. Yeah, so it's this card, and um, I, I this is too slow. This is just too slow. Uh, yeah. I, it's it just it would never saw play, and there's a good reason. Demon Hunter does not need to go to this mana point in order to kill you. It's very good at killing you earlier, and yeah, I expandable performers is just not helping with that. This is uh, this is a board clear right now, and Demon Hunter doesn't use board clears that aren't like Shard Shatter Mystic or or, or Twin Slice Blade Dance or not Blade Dance. Sorry, not yeah, Twin exactly. Slice. Yeah. So yeah, two stars for me. Yeah, that was about that was about it. So let's look at the other yeah. Demon Hunter card. Um, it was released. Right next to it, Renowned Performer. This is a Demon Hunter 4-mana card. It's a 4-mana 3-3 three, three, uh, with Rush and Death Rattle. Summon 2-1-1 one, one Assistance with Taunt. 
All right, so this is this has the exact same problems as that we just listed with expendable performers. I'm giving it, and for that reason, I'm giving it the exact same thing, uh, two stars. Yep. Oh no, I lied. I, I'm giving it one stars. No, I'm I'm, I'm straight okay. up just giving it one. Never mind. <laughs> I'm straight up just giving it one stars. And I, I think the reason I'm giving this one one stars. You know what? No, I, I should give it two stars. My, I, let me change that in my notes because, like, I think these will both see. No, that's not necessarily see? true. No, this is one star. This is one star. And the reason okay. why it's one star, my bad, I'm, I'm flapping back and forth. But I think this is just a one star because, like, Demon Hunter is just so good at dealing three damage right now. Like, it has Soul Shear. It's got, mm -hmm. like, Eye Beam if you want to if you wanna go to, to, to Eye Beams. It's got, um, it's got Shard Shatter Mystic. And it's got Aldraki plus Hero Power. It's got, like, Twin Slice plus Hero Power. Second Slice plus Hero Power. It has so many good ways of dealing three damage that are so much cheaper and more efficient than this and that is just enough for me to say that this will never see play I, I just don't i cannot see a world where this three damage rush matters nor can i see a world where the taunt matters so yeah, yeah. one star yeah i i agree this is a one star card but this is like you know this is a pretty good card for other game modes that we don't talk about we won't Arena. talk about <laughs> yeah i Arena. mean yeah it's it, it's it's a good card but i don't i don't think they'll see play in constructed even if tokens is a it's thing like fishy it's too slow like kind of yeah, fishy flyer. Yeah, also like a rusty raider. It's like rusty raider. It's yeah, like sure. a rusty raider fishy flyer in that range. Which it's yeah. Which yeah, it's a pretty good card, but nah, yeah, not, not for play. not for construct construct. Yeah, let's keep this one quick because this, yeah. this is yeah no winner. I, I yeah one star. Yeah. All right. So yeah, that was good. Next card is ring toss. Uh, ring toss is a four mana mage spell. Uh, it reads it's the it's the corrupt card for mage. Um, and it reads discover a secret and cast it uh corrupt discover two instead yeah taco this is yours yeah um so looking at the secrets and mage at the moment we have counter spell flame word ice barrier mirror entity netherwind portal vaporize nothing too excited to cheat out um obviously you want to get the uh you you want to get uh the corrupted version because four mana for one secret just isn't good because why spend four mana for a three mana card four mana for two secrets it's good, but I just don't think uh, secrets are impactful enough, or at least the secrets that we've seen so far are impactful enough for us to see play. And yeah, it's a I think it's a one star card. I think it's a one star card. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I, no, I I think I disagree. I um I'm hopeful for this one. I think it's three stars. Um, okay. This is this reminds me, uh, and it reminds us. It should remind us instantly of uh, Arcane Keysmith, um, which was a Witchwood card. Uh, it was a four mana two two that discovered a secret and put it in play instantly. Ah, uh, yeah. So that card was actually seriously run, like all over mage. It was like kind of a mage, like secondary staple. It was kind of like a mage filler card, and it was very good at doing that. Um, but the thing I wanted to point out with that um, was that Arcane Keysmith, um, it was printed along with some. It was printed in a time with mage having really good secrets, secrets like explosive runes and like um, a splitting image. Um, and those secrets, like, they translated to Tempo. And Tempo is so king in, in this game, in the Hearthstone. And right now, um, yeah, you just went through the secrets. Like, right? right now, some of the best secrets you can get off of um, of a Ring Toss is, like, Netherwind Portal, which is Tempo. This is a good, this is a strong Tempo secret, actually. Especially if you're getting it for free. I don't want to draw this card. But if I could put it in play for free, mm -hmm. I'm so happy. Uh, Flame War, this is, this is, like, kind of a good Tempo card, but it's a defensive Tempo card. Not really tempo at all. Um, Counterspell is probably the ne one of the better ones. And Counterspell has always been sweet to put in play. It really mm -hmm. messes with your opponents. And um, even the threat of Counterspell. Picking something else and then having them think it's Counterspell is really, really strong. And um, I guess in an aggressive enough meta, we would be looking to something like Ice Barrier, uh, potentially, for Ring Toss. And I think all of those are, like, okay. Uh, I'm not really wowed by any except for kind of Netherwind Portal. So if you miss Netherwind Portal, it's a little sad. Uh, maybe Counterspell. Like, Counterspell. Well, I mean, sometimes you'll be hoping for Counterspell off this, right? Um, but as of right now, it is under, It is it is way over-costed for, for, at the base. So you kind of really need to corrupt it for it to be really good. And so we're looking at a deck that needs to corrupt this and then can play it safely. We're looking at, like, a Controllier Mage, some kind of Highlander Mage that curves higher again. I'm. Like, I, it's hard to conceive of that being playable. Um, yeah, so I'm three stars. I'm. I'm really hoping for another good secret, some kind of tempo focused secret, maybe coming out. But yeah, like yeah. something that removes or like yeah. But the other thing about the arcane keysmith is that that had a body. Yeah, that had so a body. You were actually 
this is I, I, I see the I kind of see the comparison of it, but that body is like sixty percent of that card. Uh, yeah, in my it, opinion. it was it was good. I mean, it was also a secret you could tutor any time. And it wasn't, right. yeah, that's true, that's true. No, you're right. No, you're actually totally right. I shouldn't disagree with you. Like, that that card is actually a, like, 2-2 two, two body on top of this card. Like, it's actually strictly better than the base form of this card yeah. by so much. So you're paying 2 mana, whereas this yeah. you're paying 4 mana. Like, you, you have to play the Corrupted in order for this. You have to consistently be able to get this Corrupted in order for it so, to So, yeah, like, here, here's a question. Here's, a, here's like, a food for thought mm -hmm. question. How much do you value a Mage Secret to be in terms of mana? Like, is in it 3 mana? mana? Is it 3 mana, like how it says, or...? Uh yeah, I I I think uh typically I, three mana. I think most of these secrets are actually like they could they could be two mana, and I would I would be like okay that's reasonable. Like something like vaporize could probably be two mana. That could be two. Like spellbender could be two mana. Like so mm -hmm. I I'm I'm valuing like yeah some of these other ones could be two mana too. Uh so I'm I'm actually like okay how 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 much is discovering a secret and then casting it like how like how much mana is that would you say? Oh like, well. Okay, I, I kind of agree with your baseline of two. If that was the case, maybe, maybe two point five, two and a half. Yeah, I, I was thinking two, two and a half. half. So like this is Not like one. Three. This is like one and a half overcosted to me. So mm -hmm. it's like yeah, the, discover two is so good though, because then it's like then then we yeah. price it at what two, five mana, right? And this is and then this is like really good because it's four mana for a five mana effect. So yeah, I, I'm I'm hopeful for yeah. it, but uh, yeah, I could see I could see why you'd be like one star. You just don't think it'll see yeah, play like, at all, huh? Yeah, yeah. I, I think like if this was three mana. I think it would still. I would think it would be a three star card. Okay, sure. Yeah, but it's not. So, but it sucks yeah. for you. <laughs> I'm okay with that. First uh, card card. <laughs> right. So next card. All right. This this card is is my card. This is I have chosen this card specifically to review. Um, this is such a beautiful card. I'm I'm such a fan of of mid range paladin since my it, like beginning of Hearthstone. Um. To, to, I'm just staring at mid-range paladins, and I I'm, I really love just putting overstated, just efficient minions on curve onto the field, and Hammer of the Naru is just all of that embodied in one card, and so I really wanted I chose this one to specifically review, and all right, let me get into it because I I'm, I'm about to I'm about to just like go on and on, um, but <laughs> it's a six mana weapon for paladin, um, it's a six mana three three weapon. With battle cry, summon a six-six holy elemental with taunt. There is so much to say actually with this card, um, but let's just start with like, what is this card? It, it's how can we compare this card to something that already exists? Um, well, think of something like fire elemental, right? It, which is a shaman six mana six five or something like that. Yeah, six mana six five, which deals mm -hmm. three damage to something, um, and that's exactly what we should be looking at. I think this is a six mana. Well, and that's on no play. But this is a 6-mana six 6-6 six, six with Taunt that gives you a 3-3 three, three weapon. So you so you deal the 3 damage, and you still have a 3-2. You still have a Fiery War Axe after the Fire Elemental. The After your over after your overly stated Fire Elemental comes into play, you also still have a Fiery War Axe. That is so much just pure stats on the board. Um, if you want to jump in, go ahead. Like I don't want to just rattle. Yeah, I, I I think it's five stars. This is a oh this, five stars. Yeah, the, my bad. I never said stars. No, five stars. There, there's no question this will see play. Like if this was in today's game, it would see play. I mean, there's just no downside to this card on turn six. Like yeah, if on turn six, if you're not playing this card, something horribly went wrong. That, yeah, to if, make you want to do something else. Yeah, exactly. This this is insane. Um, uh, other comparisons I wanted problem. to make. Yep. Yeah, other the the other comparison I wanted to make is Tyrion. I think this is a this is this is roughly the same as Tyrion. Tyrion's an eight mana card, six six, yeah. the same thing as this with taunt, but also divine shield. And then after he dies, he gives you a five two weapon. Five two weapon adds up to ten damage, and this three three weapon adds up to nine damage. Right? It's it's like you know you just swing more turns, but like also this comes online much quicker. And this oh, weapon I, cannot be polymorphed like Tyrion. Yeah, this might be better than Tyrion. I wouldn't. This be, is straight I don't up think it's crazy to say this is just better Tyrion. Yeah, this is a better Tyrion. This comes down earlier by two turns. I mean, yeah. Tyrion's weapon doesn't come down until like maybe three, four turns later, like than this card, yeah, right? So you get this weapon instantly. You can control the board with this weapon, and it can't be polymorphed. Like, oh my god, there's so there's just yeah, so. Can, can I give this so, six stars? <laughs> I'm I, oh I'm not pushing it that far. I I think this is a great card. Um, the the last thing I want to talk about before before I just let you take over completely. Oh, actually, there's two more things. But the the one thing I want to I would just want to emphasize is just how powerfully this curves in like 
um, a Paladin deck, which is focused around Librams. So I just want you to imagine that you've missed all of your Aldor um, Peacekeepers, or like, no, not, not, the Aldor Attendant, my bad. The Aldor Attendant, which is the one mana 1-3. One, and so you, the first thing you play on turn 5 is the Aldor Truth Seeker, which reduces your Librams by 2, right? And now your Librams of Hope is a 7 mana card, right? You see this? Where, you see where I'm going with this? 5 mana, yep. 7 mana, you need something in the middle? Hammer of Naru. Literally a six mana card to get you from a six mana taunt, mind you, to get you from your five mana taunt to your seven mana taunt. So you're gonna put three turns of taunts down that are all like super, like super overly statted, right? Yeah. And they are, all and right. you're just go, and then in the middle of that, you you you're equipped with a hammer of the Naru where you can swing into the opponent's minions, and that that starts to lose you health, right? And then what happens on turn seven? You drop the Libra of Hope. So you've leveraged mm -hmm. your health, you've now healed yourself for more value from Libra of Hope, and now you just have a crazy taunt wall minion. Uh, like, minions of taunt. Like, just a taunt wall. That's insane. That's such a crazy curve. And, yeah, um, yeah the last thing I want to mention is, actually, this elemental tag is really, really interesting. Um, and why it's interesting is because of Nazoth. Nazoth Paladin is something I'm, keep, I'm keeping my eye on. Because Paladin, currently, Paladin really, really loves to run Murger McGurgle, and it really loves to run um, Shotbot. And, uh, yeah, this is the elemental. This is the elemental part of that uh, equation. And the Fleet Hoof Pearl Tusk is a beast. So I, I'm counting on my fingers right now. That's four, that's four different types of minions. That, of tr that's four different tribes we're already considering in a deck. And, like, imagine just summoning, like, those four minions I just mentioned off of an Azoth. That's, that's a good board. Yeah, yeah, uh, and yeah. So I'm keeping my eye on anything else that might make Paladin more menagerie in um in play style. Yeah, I'm gonna let you take um, over now. Like that's enough. Of no, me. <laughs> I, I think we, I think that's everything. Uh, last night, the one thing I want to add is that this card literally doesn't really have a weakness. Like, mm -hmm. what do you do when someone plays this against you? You kill the minion. You polymorph the holy, holy elemental. You deal with the weapon, right? And you're just still not in a great position. You ooze the weapon. You still have to deal with the six mana six six. This is just like I don't think it's I don't think it's gonna get nerfed. I don't think it's that territory. I could be wrong, but it's just it's just like the perfect Ooh. card. Like, is it gonna get nerfed? No, no probably. You think not. this will get nerfed? I don't think it'll get nerfed. But it's just I, it's the perfect so card. Strong. Like it's in, so strong. in a situation where there's no weakness. It's so it's so strong, but it's but it's it feels <laughs> it feels so fair, but it's not. It's yeah. it feels so fair, but it's not. It's just. You like, think this will get nerfed? I don't know. I I'm not thinking about nerfs yet. I'm just excited okay. to see this card just be being a thing. Yeah. Oh my! Look at this! Look at this! Look at this hammer, man! This is like the purple <laughs> epic. This is the epic crystal inside of the hammer. Look, do you see this purple crystal here? It's right here. Yeah. Oh, all right. Um, yeah. Anyway, let, let's move on. Let's move on before I get trapped here. Yeah, I think this is a five star as well. I didn't say that. I think, but yeah, this is five clear. Stars? This is a clear paladin just inclusion. Any paladin that is possible is going to con include this hammer of the, of the Naru. Yep. All right. Um. Yeah. Next one is uh, prize plunderer. Mm. All right, oh, so this is, is a this is a rogue, one mana, two one pirate for rogue. Um, combo deal one damage to a minion for each other card you've played this turn. Okay, so this is a this is a one star card. I right, just good. there's just better stuff that I thought that you were about to say something. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I tried. This this is just there's just better stuff. Yeah, um, we we got we got the what's the secret card called? Uh, secret. The one that saps for free. Secret card that saps for free. Oh, the Blackjack Stunner. Oh, right? Blackjack like, Stunner. Black yeah. Stunner is just better uh, for for if you need to remove stuff for for what you're paying for. Mm -hmm. um, coerce is just better if you really need to kill a minion. Just play Coerce. Um, yeah, that's that's really it. One star. I don't. I mean, it's rogue much. removal, right? Um, it's, it's rogue yeah, removal, it's so it's like it's like kind of playing toward a. A value rogue or like a control rogue, which is has never been a thing really. Um, mm -hmm. And I don't think this is going to make it a thing. This is not a payout. This is not a good enough card. Um, th there's like so many things wrong with this card, uh, in my opinion at least. Uh, it's a one star, by the way. If I if I haven't made that clear, yeah. um, it's just like comparing this to like other cards. You want to like play a bunch of cards and then play the card. Think we think of Edwin right away, and Edwin is just so much better than like just making a huge Edwin is so much better than just clearing a minion on the opponent's side of the field. Um, that's one thing. Uh, the second thing is, um, I just want to make a direct card comparison to SI Seven Agent. Um, um, and SI Seven Agent is that three is a three mana rogue card that is combo deal two uh, anywhere. So it's not just minions. 
Uh, if you combo that, it deals two, which is the same as playing two cards before this card, right? So they're rough. We can equate them roughly the same mana. Um, but SI seven goes face, and it still doesn't see play right now. So I just cannot imagine this seeing play either. Um, and the last thing I want to make a comparison to is um, just Cobalt Lackey. It's the same. It's like it's like Rogue is very good at generating lackeys right now with Evil Miscreant and like the Galacron. And the one mana one one deal two is so much better than this one mana two one deal two if only to a minion but also you have to play two cards before this i don't there's too yep. many restrictions on this I, it's just, and the payoff's not enough is, is what yep. i'm trying to say so yeah one star one star oh it's a pirate which it's I a pirate it doesn't matter. mean anything we don't have braiding party we don't have i don't think this is an azoth this is not something you want to get off nazoth definitely not and i don't see the rest of rogue having nazoth things like rogue hasn't doesn't really have tribe um yeah let, let's move on this is this is a card not worth not really yeah. worth too much this time. is not worth it yep um all right we're getting close revenant rascal is the next card this is a warlock card three mana three three um battle cry destroy a mana crystal for both players now this is pretty interesting of a card but i'm still going to give it one star um and the reason for that is it, it's okay there's two types of warlocks that you should always be paying attention to um and that's zoo warlock and hand warlock Hand Warlock is basically just Control Warlock. Um, Control would not be running this. I don't think Control would be wanting to crush their own mana crystals for a 3-3. Three, three. A 3 mana 3-3. Three, three. That sounds horrible. Mm -hmm. And so that's one Warlock out of the way, right? So what about Zoo? Like, this is a Zoo card, right? Like, let, we can agree on that? Yep. Yeah, this is, this, is like, this is only a Zoo card, really. And so what's the benefit of Zoo crushing its own mana crystal? Well, it's crushing the opponent's mana crystal, too, right? But... Like, this comes on such a weak body. It's a 3-mana three 3-3, three, three, so it's understated. And the effect isn't... It's also harming you. It's like a symmetrical effect that you can t take more advantage of, because I'm assuming zoo minions will be, like, lower curve. Like, you know, Flame Imp, Voidwalker. Um, I, I, that's it. That's all I've got. <laughs> I, don't think, I, don't, I don't really think Warlock has any other lower curving minions. Uh, Dark Lair, of course. But uh, Dark Lair and, like, uh, Ebonlock. But this is not a demon, so this can't even be cheated out. So it's not even... Like, it doesn't even synergize with Ebonlock. Um, I don't know. It's just not, it's just not an effect. Oh, and uh, yeah, let's make one card comparison. And that's to Cult Neophyte, which does kind of the same thing, except it's cheaper. It's a 2-mana it's a 3-2, two three two, and it's reasonably statted. Because it's 2-mana, it's allowed to be a 3-2. Um, and it halts your opponent for a turn. Like, this halts your opponent for, like, the remaining, like, all of the turns after. But this is just, I think this is understated. Yeah, one star. Yeah, uh, one star, definitely. I kind of disagree that this would be a good zoo card. Let's say that if it were oh, more saying stats. It's good. I'm not saying it's good. Okay. I said this. Or, or, this... or, or, or I'm not sure. saying I, <laughs> yeah, I, ahead, I mean, like, this would be, like, a zoo card. I actually don't think this would be a zoo card. Let's say, like, hypothetically, if this was a good card. Um, I, zoo is kind of weird because zoo those early turns really do matter i think they actually matter more for the zoo player for the aggro player trying to dominate the board and like trying to like win the game before True. the opponent yeah yeah um so it's kind of anti-synergy even even there as well i just don't see how this can be played that actually makes plenty of maybe sense, yeah. if you're just so far ahead uh, yeah i don't see it I think maybe I think, you hate overgrowth too, that that much. You want to play this on three? They can't overgrowth. What I was I thinking, know. I guess, was um about the dark layer board and like kind mm -hmm. of like you know being able to dark layer yourself multiple times and cheat out mana while your opponent's a mana crystal behind. But I think what what you're really doing in that situation is you're delaying your power turn, and you're allowing your opponent to draw more cards so that they can potentially deal with your power turn, which right. is like this is so bad. Yeah, I, I, you're totally right. This is anti synergistic even a zoo deck. This is like this is probably close to a zero man zero star card, but we can't give that. We can't do <laughs> well, that. Well, if we so can't give one. six, then we can't give zero. <laughs> yeah, we can't give zero if we can't give six, right? So this is a one star card. One star. Yeah. Moving on. This is the last card of the set. This got revealed again two hours, three hours ago now after this recording. Um, but uh, yeah, it's this horrendous growth is what it's called. It's a two mana two two um, corrupt gain plus one plus one can be corrupted endlessly so what that means is it can be a it, it'll turn into a two mana three three and then you can turn it into a two mana four four a five five a six six and on and on and on so yeah go ahead taco yeah um yeah i think you pretty much said what this card does uh we can talk about like what's the break point for this to be good i think that's yeah, go usually a, a good way to think it. uh i think a two mana uh, let's see how it works, right? Like, you on turn 3, do something, it's a 3-3. Three, three. On 4 mana, you do something, it's a 4-4. Four, four. Maybe a 2 mana 5-5 five, five would be, like, when I'm pretty happy about what this is. You need to be of course, being a house. Oof. 
two mana five five. Well, you're doing other stuff as well. Yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, you, you. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, just I don't know. I, I just can't see any, this being played. It's one star. Pack filler. I, this is pack filler. This is certified this is, pack filler. There is no bit. way that this sees play, and questing adventure doesn't see play. That's true. I, I'm also don't. a little scared because, like, we had stuff like Courtier Creeper, where people were like, "Oh, that thing is garbage." But that goes to zero mana. I guess that's the difference. Yeah, it's that's right. mana cheated out, right? And this yeah. is this is never mana cheated out. It's always gonna be two mana. I guess you can say it's like mana cheat in that, like, like for example, a five five would be priced more appropriately at four mana. Um, and so, like, this being two mana is kind of like that five five being cheated out two mana earlier, quote unquote. But it's not like even earlier. It's like you're you're yeah. still putting it out on turn. On whatever turn this corrupt, you know, on whatever turn aligns with the corruption of this card, right? It's just, it's like just coming Creeper out. Too came out yeah, yeah. Like Quarter Creeper also came out really fast too. This is not coming out that fast. Yeah, Quarter Creeper not that big. When it was released, Quarter Creeper was a seven mana five five, and like that was before it got nerfed to you know the seven mana two five it is yeah, today. Two five. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it was it could easily be just thrown out for like three and under, three mana and under, yeah. and that was insane tempo. But this is this is just not the same thing. Uh, yeah, like yeah. we can think about I'm, like I'm just cautious because people thought that card was bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. I, I don't think I don't one think star. we're wrong about this one. This one's yeah. pretty. This one takes a long time to get good. Like you have to play on curve. I mean, you don't really have to play on curve, but you have to play um above two. Like you have to play two mana cards. Like right or and, three mana cards. Right. Oh yeah, my bad. Three mana cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to play three mana cards, and they have to be like it, it takes a long time for this to be good. Yeah. And then it's not even like true. it's not even like it's like fast. It's just a lump of stats, right? I don't know. Like maybe it is quarter creeper. When you mentioned that, I'm 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 starting to hesitate by one star for some reason. <laughs> quarter creeper had patches, had other stuff. It's yeah, both, it both did. Sides. It it's symmetrical. Of, yeah, it was right, also right. symmetrical, right? So this isn't this isn't symmetrical. It just, it's just I think I think it's safe to say this is bad. I'm I'm cautious. I could be no, wrong. No, you're right. You're right again. You're, but this you're, is bad. Yeah, you're definitely guiding me through this card and why it's bad. Uh, yeah, I, my excuse is that I only had one or hour or two hours to view this one seriously on my own. But yeah, I know you're totally right. It, it's quarter creeper got so cheap because it was both your minions dying and the opponent's minions dying, and this is just not the same thing. Like you can only play like on turn three, you can only upgrade this once. On turn four, you can only upgrade this once. On turn five, you can only upgrade this once. On turn six, then you can upgrade this twice. But that requires right. you to play like a three mana or like a four mana or five mana card every single turn. Um, it's just it's just so many conditions for this to be good, and it's not it's not jumping through those hoops. And even if it does, yeah. it it could just be hard removed really easily. So yeah, and yeah, definitely not. This is pack filler. Yep. All right. That's yeah. That's that's everything for today. Um, I'm gonna have to edit this mass of a of a video, <laughs> and uh, I'll try and get it out, and then I'll I'll be ready for tomorrow, I guess, for more cards. All right. Looking. Yeah. Sounds good. How? Uh, yeah. So uh, anyway, uh, let's do like like let's do like a recap ish thing. Uh, any cards you're really, ex really, uh, any cards you're excited to play? Not, not that are good, yeah, but are excited to play. Yeah, um, maybe we can look at cards that were from like just the whole set as a whole. Uh, just yeah, a yeah, quick go ahead. Scan, Oh yeah, yeah. Let's see. Like, yeah, let's let's just talk about like what what do you think has gotten better now that we've seen more cards? Uh, nothing really. Yeah, honestly, no. I will. I, first of all, yeah. Zoth should be should be up there, right? Resurrected friendly. Yeah, we see the elemental. I, I still need to see more. Yeah, of course. But this has gotten. That's this has definitely yeah. increased in value, right? <laughs> right. Uh, we but, actually we we're kind of getting like fragments of like classes here, so we can't really say much about like druid, which we haven't seen any more cards about. Like you know. Yeah, we we haven't seen any good corrupted cards yet. So yeah, or corrupt cards. Like the best one was probably the elephant thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Um, Oh, actually, I, I guess this is a better question we should ask at the end of every episode. Which class do you think is the best after seeing the new cards? Oh, God. I Oh, Paladin, for sure. Oh, oh yeah, I was going to say that. Card. This, this, is a, this is a crazy card. Oh, my God. That's just, this is a crazy that's, card. That's the only like card I'm really confident is five stars. I, so, oh, I might yeah, have so given five stars better cards. Okay, but okay. Yeah, so, yeah, you're, is... you're saying Paladin. I agree with you. I think Paladin's doing really solid. Uh, I guess second would be... I, I think... I think it would be Hunter, but I know you don't like this card, so you're probably not going to I'm not it. high on it. All right. I'll well, have to see the gameplay. That's fine. Uh -huh. I think Paladin's solid right now. We'll see uh, in episode three, which is what we'll be probably recording tomorrow. And uh, yeah. Uh, until then, I'll see you guys, and I'll, I'll see you too, Taco. All right. Peace out. See ya. Bye. Later.